New York is the most populated city in the United States, with a population of over 8.8 million people. It's twice the population of Los Angeles, which is the second most populated city in the USA. New York City comprises of five boroughs, sitting where the Hudson River meets the Atlantic Ocean in a naturally sheltered deep water harbor, which made it an attractive location for the first Dutch colonizers, who named the southern tip of present-day Manhattan Island, New Amsterdam, in 1626. It quickly became an important trading post to ship beaver fur back to Europe, and just 38 years later the city became known by its present-day name, New York, after the British conquered the Dutch colony in 1664. And over the following centuries, the population of New York skyrocketed, with steamships and cheap transportation by rail and canal, bringing more people to the port. During the mid-1800s, New York handled more goods and people than all of the American ports combined. By 1860, New York was by far the biggest and most important city in the United States, and it has become the second richest city on Earth, making it one of the most iconic cities in the world, attracting over 66 million tourists each year. However, the geography of New York City has posed challenges for the continuously rising population, since much of it is built on the three islands of Manhattan, Staten Island, and Western Long Island, making the available land for development scarce, which has encouraged high-density living. As a result, architectural innovations in the last century allowed for New York City to expand upwards, with some of the first ever skyscrapers being built in New York City. Despite this, housing shortages and challenges still plague the city today, especially with regards to climate adaption, and the ever-expanding urban environment of impermeable concrete surfaces have made New York City vulnerable to severe flooding. New York City has always received plentiful rainfall, especially during the Atlantic hurricane season, which lasts from June to November. However, severe flooding was said to be rare, once every 500 years, but it has now become a more regular occurrence. And since the 2000s, tidal flooding in some areas of New York has increased by 247%, potentially putting approximately 400,000 people at risk. Flooding threatens human lives and damages property, as well as disrupting the city, making some roads unusable and shutting down parts of the subway system. However, New York City is now investing billions of dollars to turn this around. In this video, we will show you how new innovations in green infrastructure are turning New York Cityscape into a sponge, saving the city billions of dollars while turning it into a green oasis. So stick with us as we dive into today's video. New York's official state animal symbol is the beaver, they are said to represent the average New Yorker, hardworking, persistent, and adaptable. Without the beaver, New York City would not exist in the way it does today. It is said there were over 60 million beavers in New York State before the pelt trade, which almost hunted them into extinction. Now beavers are protected because of their important role in managing the waterways and slowing down water flow by building dams, which can help prevent flooding downstream thereby creating wetlands and whole ecosystems around them. In the recent decades, beavers have been making a comeback, and one was even spotted in the Bronx River. Just like the beaver, New York now has to work very hard to prevent floods, which continue to wreak havoc on the city every year. Only last month, New York City was hit by a heavy storm that turned a New York subway into an urban waterfall. And this is just nine months after the historic rainfall during Hurricane Ida, which flooded tens of thousands of homes and killed 11 residents of the basement apartments in Queens. These tragedies desperately need to be prevented as New York City residents brace themselves for another hurricane season, which is predicted to be stormier than usual. The city estimated that it would cost $100 billion to make New York City completely floodproof which would be to upgrade the antique sewage system to handle 1.75 inches to 3.5 inches of rainfall per hour. Approximately 60% of New York City's stormwater drainage system is combined with a sewage system, and when the system overflows, it poses a risk to human health and property damages. For this reason, New York City has been turning to natural-based solutions to soak up the stormwater by increasing urban green spaces. New York 
has always been relatively a green city due to the fact it has the largest urban green park in the world, called Central Park. A study in 2010 showed that urban green spaces accounted for 27% of New York City, and now it has set to increase to 39%, leaving a bit less than two-thirds of the urban environment covered by impermeable surfaces, such as concrete pavements, buildings and roads, which can cause floods and heavy rainstorms, and cause the sewage system to overflow. The increase in green cover is due to the fact that New York City has spent $1 billion on its green infrastructure program, which was first laid out in 2010. It's become one of the nation's largest, with more than 11,000 projects across five boroughs, that are either completed or under construction, particularly focusing on making the city spongier, such as rooftop gardens, green walls, permeable pavements, tree planting, and greenways. And they have installed more than 4,000 curbside rain gardens and bioswales, with another 5,000 planned. A bioswale is a linear slope retention area designed to capture and convey water, whilst allowing for rainwater runoff to infiltrate the ground slowly over a 24 to 48 hour period. The slopes are usually planted with native species, similar to a rain garden. A bioswale built in a sloped area can also help prevent erosion. Right-of-way bioswales or rain gardens are built on the sidewalk and they are particularly efficient because they capture rainwater from the roadside runoff. These particular bioswales have a 5 feet bowl shape. With a stone layer and a spongy soil layer, they are engineered to manage and hold as much water as they can. Each bioswale can hold on average 2,000 gallons of water whilst also being designed to be able to handle drought conditions. The NYC bioswales are being installed in the worst affected areas for stormwater overflow and they are constantly being monitored for scientific and research purposes. To make bioswales low cost, effective and efficient, they should contain perennial plants and native species. It's clear that what is most needed in the future of urban green space maintenance is the integration with permaculture principles alongside scientific and technological innovations that are harmonious with the community that lives around them, which can ensure the success of natural-based solutions and green projects within the cityscape. If you're passionate, like we are, about improving the quality of life in high-density cityscapes by using natural-based solutions, then make sure to smash a like on this video and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so you never miss an upload from us. Thank you for watching. Until next time.